Good morning, everyone. So I'm just getting ready for today. Um, but I just wanted to chat with you a little bit about um, skin. <laughs> so ever since, probably ever since I was in my like late teens, like I have really, really struggled with um, like acne and breakouts and um, just like it felt like no matter what I did I would always be breaking out and it was so frustrating and it kind of went like sometimes it was a little bit worse like I remember when I first moved to the Gold Coast I was getting like some skin skin needling done and I was looking at some before photos I had in my phone like I don't have a lot of photos of me without makeup on because like I was just so frustrated by it and like I thought it looked so bad and like I would always wear makeup like it didn't matter where I was going I always had it on just because I felt like I'm just gonna get ready for chatting um I felt like my skin just looked so bad and I was like trying I was eating well I thought um I was vegan at the time so I don't know if it had anything to do with it or whatever. I don't really know why it was going on, but I tried like all these different things like, and it would be like I would kind of get a little bit sometimes of a, of a change, but it definitely wouldn't be like what I really wanted. Like it wouldn't be clear. And I mean, as you can see now, I mean, I just put foundation on, but like um, this is still like, this isn't like a full coverage foundation. Like this is still quite, I'd say it's the Kosas one, so I'd say it's like a pretty, um, like you can still see your skin texture with it. And so the thing that I felt like in, since I started seeing my naturopath in November, I think it was either like beginning of November or maybe even September, but I actually went to see her for something else, but she was like going through all the different things that I kind of had as like concerns and she was like, okay, we'll put you on some herbs and we'll make sure that like your, your body isn't trying to detox through your skin. Like we'll try and get it to detox through your liver, like how it's supposed to. Cause she said one of the things that can happen is like there was, I think she said that I had like a bit of bacteria in my blood and then also, which is like normal. I think like um, it happens to a lot of people. Um, and then also she said we had, like, she wanted to make sure that I was detoxing out of my liver and not through my skin because that was what was causing me to break out so much. And so I've been on those herbs since, let's say end of September, November, I've been taking them every single day, like so religiously. And like, I think even you can tell from like the skin texture, I know I have foundation on right now, but like it is so much clearer. Like I have a little pimple here because I've been eating a lot of sugar. I've kind of went, <laughs> I wouldn't say off the rails, but I was definitely eating like lots of things that I probably wouldn't normally eat over Christmas and New Year's. Like I was eating like cookies and chocolate and all the things. And like those are things that normally as soon as I eat like lots of sugar, immediately my skin would break out. Like it would be the next day. Like I would see it in my skin and it's the same with like dairy. And I don't really eat dairy anyways because usually it doesn't agree with my stomach so much. Um, but that was something that I really noticed is like if I would eat dairy, if I would eat sugar, like my skin would just flare up. And since I've been um, taking the herbs, like I've been eating a little bit of sugar here and there and it was like my skin just didn't break out the same way, which was like, if you've ever struggled with acne, like you know how huge that is. And like, cause I was getting so frustrated cause like I don't really ever drink alcohol, like very rarely. If I do, it'll be like a couple sips of wine. I eat really well. I try not to eat a lot of processed like sugar or like food. I don't really eat junk food. I don't drink like soft drinks, like all of these things that normally I like I sleep like seven to eight hours every single night. I drink lots of water. So like all of the things that people normally tell you to do if you have acne, like I was like that advice doesn't work for me. I do all of those things anyway, so it was really frustrating so if you are in the same position and you feel like no matter what you do your skin's just not clearing up 
um, definitely go see a naturopath and see if they can help you sort it out. I think I put it off for like, obviously I knew naturopaths existed, but I think I put off trying that for so long because I was so scared to like spend all this money and then have it be something that just also didn't work. I think sometimes, and I mean, I think this is true for like a lot of things. Like even I notice like with clients that I work with, like my hypnotherapy clients, like when you have an issue and you've tried to resolve that issue for so long and it just feels like you've tried everything, you're like very hesitant to try something new because you're like, well, like, you're like, I've already tried so many things, I put so much energy into it, like I don't want to be disappointed again. And so I'm like, yeah, I totally, totally understand that. Like. There's nothing worse than feeling like you've literally tried everything and people are telling you all the things to do. You're doing all those things and you're still not getting the results. So um, obviously I don't know exactly what herbs she put in there. She told me a list. I don't remember. <laughs> I was like, I, I trust her. Like, I trust she knows what she's doing. I don't really know what all the herbs do. So it was like how, I don't know. I don't really remember <laughs> what she told me was in there, but um, if you are really struggling with acne, I would say maybe, um, and it feels like you're, you're using good products and like you're taking care of your skin, um, from the outside, I would like maybe encourage you to try that first instead of like, cause I think some of the other things that can be used, um, conventionally to treat acne are like, they're really hard on your body. And I think that was the thing that like, at least with going on the herbs and like working with a naturopath, I knew that she would definitely have like an approach that is more probably in a line with like my approach to health like I try and stay away from like um, harsher pharmaceuticals unless it's like absolutely like a life or death situation in which case I would probably like I would do what I needed to do but I think sometimes it's like whatever you do it there's always like a reaction so I think sometimes when we use like these pharmaceuticals and stuff like we end up having to balance it out in other ways so I just think, not to say that like herbs can't, like of course you don't want to take the wrong thing or you want to work with someone who knows what they're doing, of course, but um, I think like, I mean obviously for me there was no side effects. <laughs> the only side effects were, there's like a hair here, and the only side effects were that the acne went away and I felt really good, but yeah, I think... I feel really good about it and I'm definitely gonna keep taking the herbs like after you see her a couple of times like I'd never been to see a naturopath before so in case you're wondering how it works basically you just go and they ask you like a ton of questions and she took like a little tiny sample of my blood and she looked at it under a microscope and it was wild because the stuff they can tell you she's like oh you just had like some protein or whatever to eat and I was like I literally had to eat lunch and had like I don't know some steak or something before I went to see her like a stir fry with like beef in it and I was like whoa this is wild like how do you know that and she's like oh you can see like your white blood cells here they're fighting something off you can see a little bit of bacteria here like we're gonna have to address that it was crazy like I've never looked at my blood like that but it was like one of those things where I was like wow the human body is so cool <laughs> like when you actually get to look at it on like that kind of a level um yeah it was pretty interesting and so after that I went to see her, she gave me some herbs, she gave me um, some NAC, like NAC, I forget what it stands for, but works as like an anti-inflammatory in your body, and then um, I had to take those for, I think I was on them for like almost a month and a half, almost two months before I went back to see her for a follow-up, and I went back to see her, we checked in. Another thing that I've really been working on is my immune system. Um, I never got like... I don't want to say the words because I don't want this channel to get, or I don't want my video to get flagged or whatever, but the thing that was going around in 2020, I don't think I ever got it. Like, I didn't get sick for that, like, two years, and then this year, or, like, I, really the first year of, I started uni, I started getting sick all the time, and I thought it was, like, just due to stress or whatever, but then, um, and it probably was, but then this year, I was getting sick, like every single month it felt like and it was so frustrating because I would be so fatigued and like your brain's just not working and like it wasn't ever 
the thing that everyone got in 2020 uh, or that I never got a positive test um but it definitely was like like a flu or like some kind of a weird cold or whatever it was and I was just getting so annoyed because it really screws with your life and like when you're trying to do something as stressful as uni already you're like I don't want anyone like I don't want to I don't want to be more stressed because I know my mental capacities aren't where they could be because I'm getting sick and yeah so that was really frustrating so I was telling her a bit about that and then she was like okay we'll put you on like some vitamin C and um some other stuff so I've been taking those I'm hoping to really just like build back up my immune system because like I I don't usually before if we ignore the last couple of years of everything that's been going on I don't usually get sick um very rarely like I have a pretty good immune system so that's why it was really frustrating everything that was going on um the last little while because I was like um what the heck what's going on <laughs> why am I getting sick all the time like it was really really frustrating so yeah, that's my little spiel about you should go see a naturopath because apparently they can fix everything. That's not true, but like, you know what I mean. Um, if you're struggling with acne or skin conditions or whatever it is, um, and you've been feeling like you tried all the other things, I would definitely recommend going to see a naturopath because, yeah, like, I just, I honestly didn't ever think my skin could be this good and like, there's probably like still a little bit of like scarring and stuff that I could... Um, take care of with like skin needling which I will probably get back to at some point maybe not in the summer because like the sun and stuff I think it's better if it's for healing if you're not out in the sun a lot because um, your skin is quite sensitive after that but um, maybe like in the winter or something I don't know like because I've been on the herbs for a couple months now and it's like it just gets better and better and I kind of just want to see like how it'll look when I've been on it for like longer. Like I'll, I'll do maybe another couple cycles of the herbs and see like how my skin reacts to that. Cause like I love skin needling, but like, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's definitely not a, a cheap endeavor. So I'm like, well, let's see how good it can get um, like before we go and do that and then yeah, we'll just check in at that point. So I'm just gonna finish off getting ready and I'll be back. I've been restyling a few things around the house. I don't know if I'm totally happy with everything, but I decided to like sort of redo how we did this little side table. And I got this cute little wavy bowl, but I'm not quite sure if that's exactly the right spot for it. But yeah, so we're turning the bedroom into a vibe. Um, it came like semi-furnished so some of the stuff in here I like I can't take it out which is frustrating sometimes but it is what it is and so I on the wall behind the TV there's actually like a TV bracket um, like such <laughs> and um, obviously I don't want to look at it but it's kind of hard to find art that fits over it and so when I moved in I um, made this um, well, I didn't make it like I ordered it. This is a print from like a photo I took when I was in Joshua Tree and I put it up on the wall and it's been there for almost two years now and like we like it but I've been kind of like feeling like I just want to turn the living room or the lounge into like an all-white vibe like I was thinking about getting like a white rug for like there and like 
because I just love like all white spaces. I find it so calming and like so zen and like that's my coffee table. That like TV console was here when I moved in. We don't love it, but it is what it is. Um, I put like a white cover on the couch. So it's kind of like, I want something like white to go up here. Um, and I was kind of thinking about, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get like more curtains and like put them all the way across. But these curtains are from Ikea. And it turns out that they don't seem to make this style anymore, which is weird because they've been on there like forever. Like I swear everyone has these curtains. Um, but yeah, so I that plan kind of went out the window. But I have like a white linen flat sheet that I don't use on my bed because I don't really use a flat sheet. But I was thinking, I was like, well, what if I like drape it up there in kind of like a cute vibe and then it'll also maybe just like add to like the white sort of textural vibe that we're going on. So I'm going to give it a go and <laughs> hopefully it looks good. We'll see how it goes. So, I absolutely hate how this looks. <laughs> um, I think in my head it, looked, it was going to look really different, but um, I'm just going to leave that up for there for now because I actually ended up um, ordering another print from when I went to Joshua Tree. I have so many photos of all the Joshua Trees and I just, I love how they look. I think they look so beautiful. So I ordered another print of that, like a, another wall hanging, similar to the one I had before, but this time it's in black and white. So I think that kind of might help, um, like, add to that sort of, like, more minimal feel that I want in here, because I think I just want to, like, m I feel like that wall sometimes it pulls so much focus, like, it's almost, like, too much, and it's just been something about this, like, place that has, it's annoyed me ever since I moved in. I feel like I never found, like, the right thing to put over it, because it is a hard thing to kind of cover up in the way that I want it to, but, um, yeah, this is not how it's going to look. It looks really ugly, I think. Um, it just looks weird, but, yeah, that should come. Hopefully, last time I ordered from them, I got it from Society6, so Society6 is, like, it's a site where you can, um, like, if you're an artist or a photographer or whatever, you can upload your things and sell them like that, but I just upload my own work and sell it to myself because I've never, um, I've never, no one else has ever ordered anything off of there, but that's not really why I created it. I created it because I wanted to be able to order like my own photos on pieces and it's actually like quite an affordable um, way of printing things or if you just want to print like a one-off of things on like unusual objects, like I got my wall hanging from there, but like you can also do prints or like you can do like cushions or journals, like you can print something on anything you want. So it's just like an easy way to get like um, custom pieces if you're looking for something so yeah I'll link it in the description box below but if you're looking for kind of like a custom piece and you have like your own photos or your own art that you want to use it's actually a really good option um, I think to order my wall hanging it was shipping I think it was only $44 Australian and it like it'll cover that whole thing so yeah it's like a really good resource if you are looking for something to put in your space that's like kind of custom to what you're looking for outfit of the day when you are someone who works from home and also someone who appreciates a good lounge look um this skim set like oh my goodness when I say like half of my wardrobe is from Skims. Like we are wearing Skims underwear. These are like the the ribbed cotton boxers, the ribbed cotton tank top. This tank top is so flattering. Like um I don't need a lot of support so I never wear a bra anyways, but like the way it just like it holds you in like the cut of it's really flattering. I just think it gives you like a really nice waist. Like that's the thing about like buying nice basics is like because so, for the longest time I would just get like basics from I don't know wherever like probably like like glasses or something like that which are nice but they're like they you probably wear them for a season and then that's it like you kind of get over them but like these I've had these for it's probably been at least a year now and like they look exactly the same they haven't stretched they're the same color um of course I always like to sort of like I spend so much time at home and when I work from home I'm like I also want to be comfortable like I want to feel like I look cute um, if I'm ever on a zoom call like at least the top half looks 
presentable, but like I always love to like kind of like elevate it with like gold jewelry. So I've got this one, this necklace, a little like, you probably can't see it from there, but it's like a, the angel numbers from YCL Jewels. And then a few other ones that I got these from Princess Polly. And then um, I've actually been getting like a lot of my gold hoops off of AliExpress because honestly they cost like two or three dollars and they probably are the same things that are being sold in stores anyways like I find they, they don't tarnish like um I found that a lot of the ones that I would buy in store like they would tarnish really quickly these ones actually be seem, seem to be going really good so yeah that's the look for the day when you work from home and you're also a homebody